All right, so we're going to be talking today about swagitis, right? Mm -hmm. The uh, pathophysiology of swag, swag genealogy, or swagogenesis, right? Oh <laughs> All right, so let's do it. Okay, so an MI, how is an MI different than heart failure? Muscle is dead. So the and muscle. MI can lead to Cool. An MI can lead to congestive heart failure. That's good. So a lot of the drugs mm -hmm. will be the same after the MI. But what what's really happening in the heart right now? Your muscle is not getting a sufficient amount of oxygen. So it's yeah. Dead. So there's no perfusion. But why though? Is there what's blocking the oxygen? Um, the plaque in the arteries. Cool. What's that called? Coronary artery disease. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, what happens if like uh, you have something floating that just Occlusion. Occlusion? A clot, right? Yeah. Got it. So whether there's a clot in the legs, mm -hmm. DVT, clot in the lungs, mm -hmm. PE, clot in the brain, that what causes, causes a CBA. Okay. Same thing, clot in the heart, MI. Okay. Same exact thing, same exact thing across the board. So for a heart attack, the medical field loves to confuse us. MI, we have the main highways of the heart, right? Mm -hmm. Also known as your what again? The freeways. Hmm? The freeways, that's right. Yeah. Your coronary arteries, yeah? Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> so when you're making your note cards, mm -hmm. you're, you're using that First off, start with the pathophysiology. Secondly, you have your data, mm -hmm. signs and symptoms, uh, laboratory values. Mm -hmm. um, what was the other one? Final signs, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's go up to what happens, how do we get it? So on the big highways of our heart here, mm -hmm. we have plaque buildup on the sides, okay? There's plaque buildup on the sides closes lanes in our heart, on the big highways, the coronary arteries. So the more these lane closers, including our lanes, mm -hmm. the narrower our street becomes. Cool? Yeah. So we know that the main function of these coronary arteries, the main, main function is to put oxygen into the heart. That's all it does. So, what happens if you stop breathing right now or don't have oxygen? I'm going to be dead. You're going to be dead, exactly. So, all this plaque buildup from they call risk factors cholesterol, smoking, smoking? Obesity. obesity, lifestyle, lifestyle a sedentary lifestyle. Yeah, my nursing school loves to put that on. <laughs> a sedentary lifestyle. <laughs> Hypertension. Hypertension could cause, uh, well actually, the plaque itself causes an increased resistance, that's the hypertension. But the plaque itself um, is pretty much cause, causes that, uh, it's leading to an O. So all you need, you have years and years of plaque buildup. How do we know how far along it is? Like how do we classify that? How do we know if someone that has like a little bit of plaque or like a lot of bit of plaque? And there's only one lane open. What if there's two lanes open? Is that different than one lane? Yeah. Okay, if there's three lanes open on the highway, it's a lot better than just having one, right? Exactly. So, the medical field classifies it like this. Crap. Well, not crap, but like this. <laughs> they classify it as um, CAD, stage one. Stage two is acute coronary syndrome. And then you have your MI. Am I missing something? No, it's fine. Okay. Um, so pretty much the same highway. What we're saying here, a lot of black. More plaque, but there's still like an opening. Um, I have a question. 
MI is fully included. Okay, so isn't it like ACS that leads to like unstable angina or MI? Yes. Okay, just making sure. No, no, it's okay. You can, you can. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so uh, unstable angina. What the heck is unstable angina? Unstable angina is. Or, yeah, what is it? Well, isn't it more of like you don't know it's unstable, basically? It's unstable, yeah, yeah, and it's angina. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yes, you got it. <laughs> okay, so when you work out, okay? Right? Okay. When you work out, you get chest pain. Well, why? Because there's not enough oxygen to use up the oxygen. But what happens to your um, heart muscles when you work out? What happens to your your uh, arteries when you work out? Constrict. They constrict. So what happens to all this plaque? Mm. Uh, they're pushing together, causing more lanes to be closed on the highway. So interesting, huh? Mm -hmm. So how do we know how far along this is? Mm -hmm. So, what we do is we, when we relax, it's supposed to vasodilate again, right? But what happens if we're just relaxed already, we're on the recliner chair, and now we have angina? Um. We haven't done anything to cause restriction, constriction, it's just, we're just sitting there. So is that pain at rest? Yeah, pain at rest, that's unstable angina. Okay. Stable means that we're exercising, once we stop exercising and vasodilate again, mm -hmm. pain goes away. So if we have unstable angina, mm -hmm. mimics the signs of an MI. Okay. All we're saying is little to no oxygen on an MI. Okay. Acute coronary syndrome is we're saying we're almost to that MI full occlusion. Mm -hmm. CAD, coronary artery disease, we're just saying, hey, we have um, arteriosclerosis or plaque buildup in our arteries. Okay. So it's pretty much just a small, medium, and large problem, okay? Same exact thing. You want a tall, a grande, or a vente, right? Uh, not, uh, now, now that makes, I know. yes! Oh, small, I'm like, okay, that's, that's okay. <laughs> that makes more sense. All right. So let's go over Mona and how it's different. So the next little short segment here. So if I was to pick a disease from here to 